Hey there, it's me again, Leanne. And today I just want to talk to you a little bit about TPR. Um, that stands for Total Physical Response, and it's a way to get the students to physically engage in their responses to you. So it's really important for all levels, uh, you know, from beginner to advanced, just to reinforce. Um, you know, the words that you're using, whether it be directions or vocabulary or, um, you know, questions about readings, it's just really important that you're getting the student to totally um, respond to, you know, to what you're saying. Especially, you know, English as a second language, this isn't their primary language. Be very clear when you're speaking. So, I'll just show you a few of the basic tricks that I use. Um, but you're welcome to find your own way, whatever feels natural to you and your teaching style. So when we first start the class, you know, I of course have a big smile on my face just because they're so adorable and I can't wait to teach them. But I'll say, hello! And then they'll say hello and be happy back and I can't help but I say it again, hello! You know, I'm just like, yes, I'm teaching a real student right now. Um, they'll say hello back, I'll say, my name is teacher Leanne and sometimes they'll say hi teacher Leanne if you kind of pause you can gauge uh, maybe quickly what their level is uh, if they immediately respond back to you or um, maybe you need to repeat your name again maybe they didn't hear it the first time so you know teacher Leanne can you say teacher Leanne and then if you want to check that they can say your name you don't have to do that and then I'll say what is your name? And then, you know what, if you can't pronounce their name, forget it. Don't worry about it. Just wave, big smile, hello! Never say it again. I mean, really, don't worry about it. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> More than it should, honestly. Um, but then you say, you know, how old are you? And they'll tell you, and you know, that's a good age, you know, whatever. <laughs> you don't have to comment on it if you don't want to. And, uh, but at Data ABC, it is very important to ask students questions about themselves in the beginning of class, so make sure you're taking the time to get to know them. You know, make little notes uh, in case you have that as a student, as a regular student. Um, you know, it may come up that you uh, remembered something about them from a past lesson and that just adds to your rapport and credibility. Then we'll do our warm-up activity. Um, again, anytime you, use a, you are asking a question, you know, I make a big deal about shrugging my shoulders or like, you know, pointing to my head, hmm, if I uh, have to extend on that question, if they're having a hard time answering it, they're confused, or maybe they don't understand that they need to answer, hmm, even an incorrect answer, sometimes I'll say, hmm, is that, you know, whatever the question was, um, give them give them a chance to correct their own mistakes, just as a little sidebar there, um, they might do it, they might just not have understood your directions, so try to give the directions in a different way like that. Uh, See another good type of TPR um, would be uh, explaining what they need to do. So whether they're circling, underlining, drawing. I've talked about this before, but on my felt board, I have this awesome little cheat sheet that helps me explain like, oh look, we're going to circle or you're going to write or you know highlight. I highly recommend this. It's in the group files. Um, hello camera, focus. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little blurry there. I got it out of focus. Um, you know, I think that that's an awesome re resource. Um, wish I could get that camera to focus again. Sorry, give me a minute. Uh, I think that's a really helpful resource, but another way that you can connect that to total physical response is, you know, just to say circle, you know, make a, make a shape with your your air pen, circle, um, underline, draw a line. That's one way that I um, use TPR when I'm about to use an about to have the student do an activity. Um, 
let's see what else uh, read this is a good use of TPR so can you read you know and then cup your ear again to let them know that it's their time to talk um, so that's reading another there we go Another good um, use of TPR, if they're giving you one word answers, you can kind of show with your hands like, make a sentence, make a sentence, um, and then you could even sample out, this is a book. And again, always cupping your ear when you want them to talk. Um, so that's good. Uh, thumbs up is great for rewards. Like, yay! Great job! That's uh, one thing you really want to make sure that you're doing is giving a lot of encouragement. Who doesn't like to be encouraged when they're doing a good job? Um, but also, you know, the culture is a little, little bit cutthroat in China. It's very competitive, um, very performance-based. So if you don't literally say that, they might not realize that they're doing a good job, which is just sad, you know? So great job! Yay! High five! Those are great TPR, um, you know, rewards. Um, of course, giving them the stars and then using your secondary reward system. Um, you know, you might want to point if you're, sh if you're talking about feelings and you're showing them that you're happy and I'm happy to be in class with you today. You're pointing your mouth and your smile. Make sure that you're smiling and um, give them a chance to smile back. Smile until they smile back at you. It usually works. Um, but that's, you know, pretty much it. That's just some basics. You know, bye-bye when it's over. You know, hope to see you soon. That's a good one. See. I like to kind of, I, I wear glasses, so I kind of reinforce my glass. See. <laughs> that's kind of how I do that. Um, not only is that good for see you soon, it's also good for, like, what do you see? see in the picture as you're circling the picture. Um, so that's another one that I use. I think that's that's pretty well it though. And again, you'll find your own cadence, your own, you know, TPR system uh, for what's natural to your teaching style. And, um, you know, good luck. Drop me a question in the comments or send me a PM if you have a, you know, question you want to ask that's, um, you don't want to post in the group, that's fine. Uh, if my videos have been helpful for you, please see my referral link in the pinned post if you're just beginning your Data ABC application. Um, if you're already in the process, though, I do believe you can add, ask your recruiter, uh, you know, depending on where you are. I've heard at least even after the interview and training sessions, um, you can ask your recruiter on Skype uh, if it's too late to use a referral link. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Um, that's what it gives me the ability to make these videos and to keep them coming um, because, you know, I learned my mistakes in, through, my, you know, my real life crash course of, you know, applying to Dada and I just want to make sure that you have a chance to get hired and do better. Um, and I also, I love teaching, so whether I'm teaching a student or I'm just giving support and training, um, I, I love people, I'm a people person, and I like connecting and hearing your story, so thank you so much uh, for your support uh, of me, too, and for listening, and I hope you'll watch out for my next video. Good luck, you're going to do great. Bye-bye.